Hi everybody, it's spring with soaps and suds and such and today my husband's going to help me uh, cut this beauty. I haven't named it yet. It is fragranced with Love Spell and I used the heart column that my son made um, for me in order to column pour this one and I used the slab mold, the smaller one that my husband made for me uh, to pour this one. Okay, and we're going to cut it. He's already... Uh, made his scores on the top of it to in order to cut it. This is a hard bar. Is it? It's a lot harder than the other ones. Pretty good sized bars, looks like, don't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does feel like it's harder bar. Not quite the same recipe that I used. Um, on the other one but this one did stay fluid um, throughout the whole process didn't need much stirring at all with this one Really beautiful though. I think it turned out really beautiful. I don't know if I can get it loose from the paper. It's still stuck to the paper. Pretty stuck. Quite a bit stuck actually. <laughs> okay, if you can see, if I can get where you can see. Here's the top. There's our pretty swirls. And I did use gold. Um, orange, purple, and pink in this one. And I did a rather short bar on this one. Um, I did an inch. I guess I probably should have done an inch and a half on this one as far as tallness. But it does not want to come off of this paper for nothing. I will have to clean the bars up somewhat really stuck to my freezer paper majorly That side's really pretty. The top's pretty. Having trouble seeing where to show you. That top is really pretty. This one is a little bit smaller, this bar is, you can see. These bars are a lot harder than some of my other recipes, but 
I'll have to remember that because this one stayed fluid through the whole thing and I made this soap yesterday and it's already hardening up nicely so I like that I think that's wonderful I had no um, no acceleration with this one I actually poured um, another batch with this one if you've watched the video of me pouring this one then you would know that I actually poured another mold with this one that I will be cutting and showing you also on this video. This is the mini bar. This is one that uh, I'll either use for a sample or give to someone. But hope you enjoyed the. Well, no, wait a minute. We've got another one to cut, so I'll bring you back once I get my soap cutter set up. Okay, everybody, I'm back, and I've got my new soap cutter set up here, and this is the one that I poured um, on the small spiral columns, and I uh, poured it so high, and then I ended up just pouring in the rest, because with the small columns, you can't go up but so high, because they will flip on you, um, because they are very light and very thin, but I love the way they look. Now, um... Let's see, and then I just swirled the top, but um, I hope that I've got this thing set right. I think whenever I done my beneficial clay bar, that I actually had my um, wire too loose. Okay, let's try it this time and see. Yeah, that's much better. It's not going completely through my bar. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Look at that. Just lovely. Oh wow. I love the swirls that I get from those columns. I mean, they're tiny. And sure, you have to have a really, really um, liquid soap to pour on, but they work beautifully. through this time. My wire's not wanting to go all the way through. Oh my goodness. Look at those swirls. Isn't that not just gorgeous? And that is gold. A little bit of orange and um, purple. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm very happy with those. Hopefully, or not. Okay, now we did. Oh my goodness, look at that end. Is that not just beautiful? Look at that, gorgeous. That's beautiful. I love the way those look and then you can see up here where I poured it in those turned out beautiful very happy with that and those are um, fragrance with the same uh, love spell that I just showed you the soap we cut and um, I just used what batter I had left over, soap batter. Okay, and this is the other little loaf. So I'm going to try turning it up on its side and see 
how it does with this one. check out the video where I actually poured uh, these column pour soaps um, please do check it out I'll try to link them together uh, once I upload these videos and um, if you're looking for a soap cutter check out plowboys that's spelled with a Z on the end not an S um, it's plowboys wood shop LLC um, and that's handmade in the USA. I mean, you can't beat that. So, uh, it's really sturdy. And so far, I love it. So, check them out. And have a good day. And if you like our videos, please do subscribe. Click the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you can see every time we upload. I try to upload daily or at least every other day. Um, happy soaping. Have a good night. Thank you.